The EcoBot is an all-in-one station where we can study plants and their microbiomes as they're growing. One of the challenges of microbiome science is that it's very hard to compare data across different laboratories because everybody's doing things a little bit differently. Having the EcoBot do the sampling takes human error out of the equation, making the data much more reproducible. And so we've been working on this for a long time. This vision of being able to build laboratory ecosystems where we can get at how genes and interactions between organisms ultimately affect ecosystem level processes. The EcoBot fits in our larger fabricated ecosystem effort, which is really focused on reproducibility. And that means that we want to make sure our experiments are robust and reliable and that we get the same result every time we do them. And not only that, but someone else could do the same experiment and get the same result. And that might seem obvious, but sometimes subtle variations can cause differences in results. So first, the EcoBot selects an EcoFab from the growth chamber. EcoFab stands for Fabricated Ecosystem, and these are essentially handheld environments where we can study plants and their microbiomes using different methods. Once it selects an EcoFab, it delivers it to the liquid handling unit and it removes the caps to access the root zones. Then the EcoBot directly samples from the EcoFab root zone to see which chemicals the plants and microbes are making we then refill the EcoFab with nutrients or microbial communities, depending on the experiment. Once the sample has been removed and liquid has been added, we then recap the EcoFab to keep it sterile. The EcoBot can then take the EcoFab from the liquid handling unit and move it to our different imaging stations where we can collect data on the roots and the plant growth. There are two imaging stations underneath the EcoBot. One is an inverted microscope that can automatically scan all the root zones. We can do things from low magnification, like getting root phenotypic data, or higher power magnification if we want really detailed information on the plant roots, or look for microbes that are colonizing the roots. The second imaging station is a hyperspectral camera that takes hyperspectral images of the plant from three different angles. And that allows us to get size estimations on the plant without taking it out and measuring it. What I'm most excited about with the EcoBot is the potential for self-driving experiments, meaning ones that aren't just carried out according to a particular timeline, but that actually change and evolve with the results that come out. The EcoBot is located at Berkeley Lab, but it's part of a collaborative project that involves a number of other labs, in particular the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. And so collaborators at other institutions are already participating in planning and executing these experiments, as well as analyzing the data that comes out. And in the long run, we hope that the work we're doing on building and developing the EcoBot will make it easier for others to implement that same sort of work and build their own EcoBots in their own labs. And so this fills a, a really large scale vision of disseminating microbiome scientific tools to the larger scientific community and standardizing it so that uh, it doesn't matter whether you do an experiment or I do an experiment, we can compare the data.